What are the space capsules, ballet dancing, children's books, and one of the world's best comedy actors all have in common? It's not a what, it's a who. These are just some of the things touched by the legacy of a single trailblazing engineer named Judith Love Cohen. Hi, I'm Miranda Cosgrove. Welcome to the STEM loft, where the landlord said it wasn't haunted and was honestly really weird about it. Judith was born during the Great Depression, and at that time, there weren't a lot of well-known female engineers or scientists to look up to. So she decided to follow in the footsteps of the only woman in STEM she knew, her math teacher. Judith got a scholarship to study math at Brooklyn College, but switched her major to engineering during her freshman year. This was around the same time she was dancing in the New York Metropolitan Opera Ballet Company and falling in love and getting married. So at 19, she was already accomplishing what I would describe as a whole lot. After a few years in Brooklyn, Judith and her husband decided to give California a try and moved out to sunny Los Angeles to study at USC. Before even completing her undergrad, Judith had her first child and got a job as a junior engineer for an aerospace firm. To get an idea of what kind of pioneer Judith was, less than 1% of engineers at this time were women, and Judith earned both her master's and undergrad degree without meeting another female engineering student. I can't imagine how hard it must have been. Thankfully, things are a lot better now, but we still have a long way to go. Once she had her master's, she started working at a new aerospace company called Space Technology Laboratories, a place that did space technologies and wasn't shy about putting it in the name. This company worked on a lot of projects for the Air Force and NASA, including the Apollo missions, which you might remember sent humans to the moon. Traveling to the moon can be very dangerous, so the Apollo capsules had all sorts of backups and safety features. One of these safety features was something Judith helped create, called the Abort Guidance System. This was designed to be used in case the primary guidance system failed during a lunar ascent or descent. The abort guidance system was on board Apollo 13, which was planned to be NASA's third landing on the moon. But if you know the phrase, Houston, we have a problem. You know that en route, a disastrous ruptured oxygen tank put the lives of the entire crew in serious danger. While it took the heroic efforts of many scientists and engineers to get the astronauts back home safely, the Apollo 13 capsule was guided back to Earth with Judith's abort guidance system. Since the primary guidance system required too many scarce resources, not bad for a backup, right? Judith's work ethic was so intense when she went into labor with her fourth child, she took a printout of a problem she was working on with her to the hospital. Later that day, she called her boss and told him she'd solved it. The baby she had that day was, wait for it, Jack Black. Yeah, that Jack Black. The movie star from Kung Fu Panda, Jumanji, and some old movie called School of Rock which I hear had a very good cast, where everyone was very funny and very talented. Even when Judith retired from engineering, she wasn't done changing the world. She launched a publishing company, writing books to teach children how to help protect the environment, and also to encourage young girls to follow in her footsteps and pursue science and engineering. Judith Love Cohen proved that you can be an engineer, an author, a parent, and help bring home astronauts from the moon, all while paving the way for millions of other pioneering women. She left us in 2016, but her memory lives on through her family and her incredible scientific legacy. Hey, it's Miranda Cosgrove, your favorite host of Mission Unstoppable. I'm the only host. And if you wanna watch awesome STEM videos and exclusive Mission Unstoppable clips, just make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell.